So uh, I'm Jeffrey Butterer, and uh, I'm here in uh, in the central U.S. in Missouri. And uh, so uh, one of the, you know, I think we're at this pivotal point in our history. And the, uh, there's a couple of people that I admire who are actually it's encouraging to me that that there are some things becoming more common in the establishment. And I think a lot of people like if we want to think about the future and a lot of these problems repeating themselves, that we don't uh, give credit to progress being made in the mainstream media, in the mainstream culture, and thinking about how we can support that. And I think also we, if we want to think about if we're peacemakers, you know, and some people have said, my, I think my mother at one point said that she thought of me as a, you know, she named me Jeff because that has some significance to her as a peacemaker, you know. So I thought that was kind of cool. You know, I think my mom, you know, really wanted to bring me into the world as that, you know, I think that's my larger purpose here. And so, you know, uh, I think maybe my role could be, you know, like in thinking about like uh, 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 Frank Lloyd Wright, actually, his most creative part of his life was after he was 60, you know, so maybe that'll, you know, think about like, we don't have to say, Oh, you know, we're over the hill. It's all over from here. You know, that we all, as long as we're living, you know, we have a potential constructive role to play, you know, and figuring that out, I think is part of the, the struggle, you know, and people, people want to feel like they matter. They want to feel like that, you know, they're not just a cog in the machine. You know, I think that's a universal thing, you know, like people don't want to feel like they're just nothing, you know? So our meaning, you know, I think if we don't have meaning, if we can't figure out how to create a system, a global system, right. And it's like, it's got to be global. How could it not be global, right? Do we roll it? Can we roll that back? Can we somehow say, oh, we're in a modern world and we're not going to be global? Well, if we're in a global system, we have to think about how do we have meaning for all the people that are in that global system so that they, because if, if they don't have meaning, there won't be peace. It's as simple as that. So we have to kind of operate from that construct of like, well, how do we, all the disagreements that we have, they seem to be escalating, you know, and then the technology seems to be escalating, you know, the, the, the ability for us to do damage to each other, right? We've heard this time and time again, is escalating though. So something needs to give, right? And I think there will probably be more damage that's done before we'll fully have the realization that uh, we do need to uh, to listen to each other differently or better, you know? And it was interesting that what I shared with you before about Franz Narada and like, he shared this information and it was, you know, I was sort of shocked, Franz, you're sharing this information. And I, you know, so is there cleavage, all these cleavages and breaks that is happening in our relationships, our social networks, you know? And so I think that's not conducive to peace, you know? So we have to think about like, well, how do we, if somebody, so for example, even someone you thought you were aligned with on some level shares with you information that makes you think, Oh my God, you know, are they a Trump person now? You know, or are they for Putin? You know, are they, you know, so, and so I think that's the difficult part of it, you know, is that, that we don't know how to, uh, uh, you know, how do we have the, so if somebody says, Oh, I, I think Trump's a good guy. How do we deal with that? So if we're peacemakers, we, if we really for peace, we have to figure out, well, how do we listen to that person without like feeling like we're being dominated over by nonsense? You know what I mean? Disinformation or somebody's delusional notion of the world. Uh, but I think what's the pro part of the problem in America, you know, it's, and I'm looking at that in context, whereas you, you're Lithuanian, you're looking at it from a European context. But as for me as an American, uh, we had this myth, and I think the Europeans too, that somehow we had conquered delusion, you know, that we had conquered disinformation. And, you know, we we haven't. And people have continued to think that, the you know, like say, say almost half, there's a large number of Americans, for example, that they poll and they ask them a question and they say, oh, yeah, God cre created the world 10,000 years ago, right? So, well, how do we do? So that's a lot of the people that believe that voted for Trump, you know what I mean? So, I think that we need to really look at how we can have dialogues, not just with those people who voted for Trump, but people who even amongst us, you know, have different views about Ukraine versus Russia, you know? So if we look at that question that you're asking, I think that, you know, until there was something that, what was the most, you know, me reading hundreds of articles, you know, 
probably a month about this topic, you know, I can analyze some things I'm troubled by, but there's a realization that this wars like what we see what Ukraine and the Ukrainian situation don't end easily because neither side is willing to compromise. And so it's easy for us to say the Ukrainians need to compromise to Russia. But, you know, uh, this was, you know, you're talking about saying, oh, you know, like what if some country invaded your country, like say Russia invaded, said, oh, there's a lot of Lith Russians in Lithuania, for example, let's take over that part of Lithuania because that's really more Russian, you know, than than the other part. And we think that it should be part of Russia, right? So, I mean, I think that's a difficult thing. So, uh, so somebody like Franz sharing that information seems like there's, and Michelle Bowen too, you know, you know, I think they, and I know a lot of a lot of people that would say we're progressive. I would would have considered as progressive, are having this lack of understanding of like, well, what if your country was invaded, right? And they this invader wanted to take part of your country and make it their country, you know. So, you know, how do you deal with that? That's I think the dilemma we're dealing with, you know.